can come in and edit the script with me. And you can see Andrew and Stephanie shows up um, inside my message as I'm editing it, and they can put together the script for me. And again, you can see character by character line that's in there. And so in the beginning, when you first see this, this could be a little chaotic, but once you learn how to use it, it's remarkable how much faster you can collaborate on content in this way. Okay, let's see what's next. Inline reply playback. Playback is next. Let me show you what hit done here. And then this playback button here lets me see how the wave was created step by step. There you see I started the wave. I added Stefan Andrew. Andrew said this. I said this. He said this. Our little inline discussion here. And you can even see the edit step here. We keep track in our database character by character of exactly who said what. What's next? Photos. photos. Yes, let's absolutely show some photos. I happily have some lying on my desktop. I'm going to make a new reply, and I'm going to grab a bunch of photos from my desktop and drag them into the browser like this. And you will see that we automatically create thumbnails and automatically upload them to the server like this. I have some completely unrelated photos I'm going to drop in. He's going to add some completely unrelated photos. You'll notice how fast they show up on my screen here, we actually create the thumbnails in Stephanie's browser and send the thumbnails on the wire before her images are even done uploading. Andrew's gonna do some photos. Andrew, throw in <laughs> some photos. That would be cool too. <laughs> Almost as much fun as me doing it. Okay, two opportunities for me to dance. Here's Andrew, he's got photos. Put your thumb up if you got photos there, otherwise we'll work around it. That was a thumbs down. Okay. I got now. it. I got it. I'm back. I got photos. <laughs> this is fun live debugging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Andrew, Stephanie, everyone's here. Stephanie's got photos and Stephanie's photos. Yay! <laughs> Start you. our own applause for getting now, those photos. I up. can view all of our photos as a slideshow. Look how both my photos and Stephanie's photos show up here. And so you've seen us collaborate on text. We can also collaborate on a photo album. And in fact, you can collaborate on pretty much anything by using our extension APIs, which is really what we're here to talk about. So the first thing we want to show you, probably got to do that. Spelly. Spelly. Spelly yep. demo. So this is an extension that we build ourselves um, using what we call a robot. A robot is a server-side piece of software that can interact with a wave just like a user can do. And we build our spell checker using these APIs. Vadim is going to show you a Russian example, which I would read Vadim to you. Vadim is one of our um, API engineers. He's hiding in the audience here. And so you'll see that Vadim is deliberately making two spelling errors that are the same. And then on a good day, you have to make it edit. Yeah, thanks, Lars. See, I told you you should do this. Yeah. So now you'll see the two red underlines here under the same word. And when Stephanie goes in and opens it up, I'll just hit control space. There you go. You'll see that our spell checker actually figures out what I believe is the right thing. In a little bit of the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, so ignore where it was in the wrong place. Okay. So this spell checker is trained on the entire web. It uses the context of the word. That's how I got the right answer there. Great. Now, We're going to show you a few more extensions that other people have built inside of Wave. My favorite is something called Sudoku. This was built by an Israeli company called Lab Pixies. Lars is going to start a wave and then add some of our team mem members. Now, Sudoku was already a Google gadget. It was an individual player game you played against the clock. What Lab Pixies did in a few weeks was bring it into Google Wave and make it collaborative so many people could be working on the same square at the same time. It was supposed to be um, collaborative. We'd solve a puzzle together, but it ended up being more competitive, and now you race against each other. And I can tell you it's the most addictive thing in the world, so don't start playing it if you have real work to do. You'll see the, the, the colors represent the carrots, so you can see where the other people are. And then you can hopefully see the scores. You get a point off, of course, if you get something wrong. Now, the Google Wave platform takes care of transmission of data, resolution of conflicts. 
all the gadget developers had to do was store the state of the game in XML in the wave. Now, the next thing we want to show is a prototype uh, extension that was built by one of the world's largest software companies, SAP, that's based in Germany. So this is a business process modeling tool, which is actually quite sexy inside Google Wave. The demo video here, which you can find on our page of featured extensions, goes through a scenario where a bank and an insurance she company is merged, and a new uh, company wants to build a business process. Can you cut this out? Oh, yeah. Wants to build a business process for their new company. And so SAP had this drawing tool here where you can draw business processes alone, but by putting it inside Wave, immediately many people can work on this graph simultaneously in real time. And so they go through, starting out with two people, drawing this thing, they add an expert. A little bit later you'll see they add a robot, just like our spell checker. This robot goes and checks the semantic correctness of the graph and suggests a few changes, then they add the manager. The manager actually checks the work on an iPhone. This thing renders on an iPhone. And then in the end, they click a button and export the graph in XML into this enormous software package that SAP has called NetWeaver. And a web developer can turn the graph into an actual website interacting with users. And then, and this is not in the video yet, but SAP also built a gadget you can put in the same way that monitors in real time the workings of the live website. And then the people on this wave here can go and fiddle, change the graph a little bit, the programmer can update the website and they can see the results. So it dramatically shortens the cycle of work and makes everything collaborative. The other example I want to show you is by an American company called ThoughtWorks. It's mostly a consulting company, but they have a product division called ThoughtWorks Studio that built a, a very nice integration between a Mingle and Google Wave. So Mingle is a project management tool for agile software development. And you will see here how it works. It has these little cards with tasks on. And the integration with Google Wave lets a programmer see, in this case, the daily the tasks that I do that day inside a wave. You can fast forward a little bit. Oh, not so much. Sorry about that. Sorry. Go back a little more. Try Sorry it. about that. There we go. So you can see the tasks inside a wave. And the way this works is that there is a robot on this wave. You can see it up there. Goes and grabs the task from the Mingle database, puts it in a wave. And so now the programmer's manager shows up. She's unhappy, asks why are things not moving forward. And then the programmer uh, thinks on his feet and quickly remembers what task is blocked. And all he has to do is write hash 88. And the robot sees that goes and fetches the corresponding task from the database, puts it right in the wave for him and the manager to see. Then the, uh, the manager asks, what are you gonna do? Again, the programmer thinks on his feet, and he's gonna come up with a new task right inside wave, and then he's gonna use the robot on the wave to create a task in the database without ever leaving wave. You'll see he's going to, he's going to select the appropriate text here, and then he's going to hit a button on the toolbar, which is actually a button that the extension put in the toolbar, and then the robot's going to do all the work for him. There. Now, the robot goes, creates the task, and puts the task inside the wave. And now in a second, they'll go back to the Mingle page, and you'll see those new tasks on the Mingle page. And also, we have an API where you can embed waves on your website, and then you, if you happen to be on the Mingle site, you can go and look at the waves in there. Great, so we've showed you a bunch of extensions to Wave. If you wanna learn how to build them, Vadim has a breakout session this afternoon called Google Wave APIs. But this is the reason we're here to talk to you, to try and inspire you guys to build Google Wave extensions or embed Waves places in the web. You want a rich UI for collaboration and discussion. We think Google Wave can only be a success and we can only get people to adopt it and use it if people like you um, invest your time and energy in the platform.